Hey, I'm Joe with Revzilla, and today we're taking a look at the Nelson Rig Trails and Tank Bag, available at Revzilla.com. So Nelson Rig's been producing a wide range of motorcycle accessories, covers, and luggage since 1972. So they have a lot of experience producing luggage for motorcycles. So what we have here is a tank bag specifically designed for the sloped fuel tanks found on ADV bikes and some dual sport bikes. This guy comes in around $100, but of course, if you do find it for less elsewhere, Revzilla has a price match policy in place to get you the best price possible. So what we have here is a tank bag that expands from 12 and a half liters to 16 and a half liters. It does have a waterproof cover but the bag itself is not waterproof. But let's break down some of the details for you so you can just walk around the bag and see some of the intricate uh, design features of the bag here. So starting at the top, we have a touchscreen compatible map pocket up at the top. You, one thing to note is that you can, if there's no device, you know, if you don't have your iPhone or GPS or anything like that up here in the top, you can see through the mesh into the bag. That's just something to note. That could be a pro or a con. Um, you know, I like to keep an eye on my snacks, you know, make sure I know where they're at when I'm out on a long ride. So that's one thing to consider there. As we move around the bag, you can see that there are two pockets, one on either side with some reflective piping here. And then the grab handle along the back here has some reflective piping as well and a nice rubberized handle to make it easy to carry while you're off the bike. Up at the front, you can see our two attachment points. We'll get into installation a little bit later on in the video. And then at the rear, there's two attachment points there. And then also at the rear of the bag, there is a port that allows you to pass your power cord through. Now, to me, this was a little bit of a miss because I know most motorcycles at this point do have a power outlet up by the controls by your instrument panel on your bike. So for me on my uh, Tiger 800 XC, I would have to run the power cable from in front of the handlebars around to the back of the bag. So that's just something to be mindful of. You would need a longer cord to power your device while you're riding. Now, Nelson Rig calls this material Ultramax. It's a 1680D polyester, which is an abrasion resistant material that has a nice soft touch to it. So you don't have to worry about it damaging the finish on your bike. But Nelson Rig uses this uh, Ultramax technology to prevent fading from UV rays. I've had some textile luggage over the years that have faded to like a gross purple or a gray color. So it's nice that Nelson Rig does include that UV protection in their Ultramax material. So much so that fading is also included in their lifetime warranty with their luggage, which I thought was really cool. Now getting into the interior of the bag, you can see that there's a, a spot for a luggage padlock right here between the zippers. So that would keep some honest people honest, you know, it'll keep people from poking around in the bag when you don't want them to. Easy rubberized zipper pulls to pull open with motorcycle gloves on, and that allows you access to the interior panel. We talked about the mat pocket earlier, but it's a really, you know, pretty big Velcro uh, panel here. So it allows you to put some larger devices in there, even maybe, a, a, you know, an extra large phone or a small tablet would fit in there if you're going to use that for now navigation. Pretty cool to be able to have that access there. And then of course you could see, you know, if you're going to put some other items in there, pretty easy to access to see them from both sides of the top panel. Now inside the bag, you can see it's a nice light color. Uh, the gray color there allows you to see what you're looking for at night when you're digging around the bag. Now do be mindful that if you haven't used a tank bag on an adventure bike before that's sloped like this, most of the stuff that's inside of the small items are gonna slide down towards the back of the bag. That's just something to be mindful of. The bag itself is a semi-rigid bag. Now for me, I've run some tank bags on my ADV bike and I don't really like when they're super rigid because you're standing up on the bike, you want to be able to move around on the bike and allow the bag to kind of give when you bump into it. So I think that that's a plus. Some folks might wish that it was a little bit more rigid overall. When the bag does expand, just be mindful of that extra height of the bag. Now I had mentioned earlier about the rain cover. Now this bag itself is not waterproof unless you put the rain fly on top. But the rain fly itself does have a large touchscreen compatible mat pocket and it is expandable. So, you know, I've seen some other rain flies in the past that only work when the bag is compressed. I thought that was cool that Nelson Rig did include an expansion zipper on the rain fly to allow you to use it in both formats. And there's some loops here too that I thought were advantageous to be able to pass the mounting straps through these because you know I've seen a lot of these rain covers go flying if they're not rigidly attached to the bag in some way. So thoughtful uh, inclusion there with Nelson Rig giving you the ability to keep the bag waterproof while you're out riding. Now when it comes to installation, Nelson Rig includes some of 
these buckle type straps that will go around the motorcycle. There's two at the rear and one at the front. So, you know, you just pass these through the frame of the motorcycle in the back, and that allows you to quickly attach and detach the bag from the bike, especially when you're fueling up. So it's nice to be able to just pop these around the frame of the bike like so, and then these will go and attach to the buckles at the rear of the bag like that. So when you go to fuel up, you'll just pop these two buckles, flip the bag up onto your handlebars, fill up, and then you can reattach it when you go to take off. Around the headstock, there's one that loops under the headstock in front of the fuel tank on the bike. No real surprises there, but that one's gonna remain in place for most of your ride anyway. But I do like the quick release buckles to be able to pop this off. You know, if I'm gonna go get some food or you know, uh, take a break off the bike, I can just pop this off easy and walk away. But overall, I do feel that Nelson Rig did a great job with their ADV luggage. Just came out recently, so we wanted to give it a closer look for you. But if you'd like to see what other riders have to say about them, click the info button on your desktop or mobile device. And as always, if you have any questions about this or anything else you see on our website, give our Gear Geeks a shout at 877-792-9455 or shoot an email to cs at revzilla.com. Thanks for watching our video today about the Nelson Rig Trails and Tank Bag. I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time.